This is Yang 2020 Path to the Presidency. Uh, Andrew Yang had some uh, stress and frustration today, so I decided to play a game. And I've been wanting to play this game again because I did all those fighting games from a long time ago. And, and what I saw in a lot of series is, is that I would get I would have an easier time as as they got newer. So I want to see how this one compared. Now that I've played all those. Let's do story mode. New game. Random man, random man runs for president. Washington Post. They put that up in the campaign headquarters, so that's actually true. Andrew Yang. Oh. The founder of Venture for America, that's his nonprofit he started after he sold his business. A nonprofit which helped create thousands of jobs. President Obama named Andrew a champion of change, and in the wake of the greatest economic transition in the history of the world, Andrew saw what our politicians couldn't. AI and automation is on the rise, which will be great for the economy, but not so good for humanity. Something had to be done. Andrew had but one choice. January 2019, Andrew Yang meets some truckers to talk about the threat of automation with driverless trucks. Andrew Yang, hey y'all, I'm Andrew Yang and I'm running for president largely because I'm concerned about automation which includes robot trucks. Fred, robot trucks? Haha, <laughs> there ain't no way a robot truck could do what I do. That's Fred the felon. Andrew Yang, I know how far-fetched this sounds, but driverless trucking is real. My friends in Silicon Valley told me there are 98% of the way there. Fred, your friends in Silicon Valley? Sounds like a bunch of computer geeks. What would they know about real work? Andrew Yang, look, unless we are prepared, this is going to be a disaster for many Americans. We have to think much bigger about what the economy of the 21st century is going to look like. The only thing you have to think about is taking your stupid ass out of here. You think you can come here and threaten me like this? You're getting me pissed, boy. Huh? I think that was supposed to be, huh? Challenge okay. Accepted. Now you should know I ain't afraid to go back to jail. I... And then LB and... Oh, dude. No, wait. Hang on. YB, LB, RB. This is tough. Yeah, I punched him. I did good, right? Two hit combo. I haven't done that. Okay, so I should try for combos. I forget that stuff. He got two hit combo again. Oh, wait, don't hit me. Okay. Yeah, I like that one. When I am in the air and I aim and kick, I don't do very well. Oh, you see the truck in the background? Um, Fred did that on his truck, and then he was working on doing it on a bunch of others, but I don't know how far he got before Andrew suspended. Wait. I can't- oh, okay, so I'll just use this one, don't use that button. 
I'm so close. Why can't I just get him? Did I flip? I did a flip. I got him, right? I think that's a KO. Oh, dude, there's round two. I forget it. Okay. Oh, look. Hey, I got a combo. I wonder how I did it. What's that? Oh, the red dot means I won one. Oh, and we have a timer because I have to remember. Um. So. Oh, okay. I'm doing good. This isn't too bad. Uh, what happened? Oh, that's the like special thing that I get to do. That I don't actually know how to do it, but it must have been some combo that I was able to do. Oh, dude, I won! Alright, alright, I gotta admit, those were some pretty convincing punches. Where'd you learn to fight like that? Well, I learned the best attack is not left, it's not right, it's forward. Haha, uh -huh, that's his slogan or one of them. Haha, uh -huh, well, you made a believer out of me, Mr. Yang. He get. That's awesome, Fred. Make sure to come back here. I'm gonna have something special waiting for you. Yeah, can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait. Uh, Fred fell in the egg. Now available in versus mode. Oh, okay. Truck stop stage unlocked. February 19th, 2019. Andrew Yang appears on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. Um, oh, dude. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Hey, Joe, first of all, I want to thank you for inviting me out here. I think your audience was really would really appreciate and understand my presidential campaign. No problem, my friend. Ben Stiller speaks very highly of you. Why is Bing in the background? But if you want to be on the podcast, you know the deal, right? The deal? Yeah, you gotta fight me. I thought you knew that. Wait, what? Does everyone have to do this? Of course, man. What? You think I just let anybody come on here? Well, no, but that seems a little extreme. Come on, bro. I get like a thousand requests a month. This is like my weeding out process. Damn, hey, if you had a dollar for everyone who wanted to be on the podcast, am I right? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's do this. Uh, Fred the Felon got yanged when he read Andrew's and book when he was getting ready to meet him. Okay, well, mostly yanked. First hit, counter, combo. Uh, so, okay, it says counter. That's not blocking, because counter would be like, I, uh, he punches me and I punch him back. And one of the games, look, I'm winning. One of the games, it had, um, on the SNK games, it had counter, like, a percent or something. Oops. Why is he ducked? I was, like, hitting and hitting and hitting and not getting him because he was ducked down. Stop doing that, dude. Oh, look. Look, I got him. Dude, I did a flip. Did you see that? Oh, wow, that is awesome. I can do a flip. No, don't hit me. I'm actually kind of liking this. I assume they get tougher as you go on the... Uh, I like it because it's injury thing, though. Round two. Round two. Fight. Fight. I probably would have forgotten we were going to do round two, but I didn't actually realize it was over. Whoa. Oh, wait. I'm this character. Oh, dude, I got confused again. Uh, okay. Wait. I get confused too easily. I mean, they get confused regularly, but... I mean, this is Andrew Yang. I know who I am. I'm not trying to do flips. I just am pushing buttons. Okay, so I... That doesn't... Like, did you see me pushing my slid across the floor? We're so close. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Green smoke attack. Oh, dude. No, he did a fancy special thing. Okay, I thought... Oh, look, we won, finally. We have the things at the bottom. Wow, I had no idea you could fight so well. Ha, you... You're not so bad yourself. I mean, I think your kicks need a little work, but you got the basics down. <laughs> right. Well, listen, man, you earned your spot on the podcast. 
I really think people are going to agree with you a lot, but maybe we should stay away from the vegetarian stuff. What vegetarian stuff? I just think that's it. I just think that it's a tough sell, like you're not going to stop everyone from eating meat. Joe, I eat meat. I don't know what you're talking about. Nah, I'm pretty sure you're a vegetarian. I read it on the internet. Yeah. I'll get Jamie to put it up later. Yeah, you do that. Um, so first off, I don't actually think Joe Rogan got yanked. Uh, available versus Jerry Studio Stage Unlocked. Um, second, yes, there was big news. August 2019, after months of a Yang media blackout, Andrew Yang finally gets some much-needed coverage from the mainstream media. Uh, this is Rachel Maddow from NSNB. Rachel, may, welcome back. Now, here's a look at the official lineup for the 2020 Democratic presidential race. We will be covering each of these candidates in detail over the coming weeks. And joining me now in the studio is a man who, correct me if I'm wrong, but you are also thinking of running for president. Uh, actually, I'm not thinking of running for president. I am running for president. And, in fact, I'm pulling higher than some of the people you just showed on that chart. Well, that's great to hear you've made up your mind and are actually going to run. <laughs> now, let me ask you about your crazy idea to give every American a thousand dollars a month. Uh, sure. Well, this is not act actually my idea. Thomas Paine was for it at the founding of the country. The godfather of conservative economists, Milton Friedman, was for it. And Martin Luther King was fighting for it up until the day he was assassinated, so this is deeply American. Yang? <laughs> oh my, is that Cory Booker? Yeah. Oh, hey Cory. Yang, Yang, Orang. How you doing, buddy? I'm good, Cory. Sorry to be rude, but I'm actually being interviewed right now. Oh, Andrew, stop. You know you never have to apologize to me. <laughs> Thanks, but seriously, I'm getting at the least amount of airtime, and this is really important. Airtime? It is that a basketball reference? Haha, <laughs> you're such a funny guy, Yang. <laughs> Corey, seriously, this is... Did you know they have food backstage? I swear I saw a turkey lake back there. You should check it out. <laughs> well, while Mr. Wang's doing that, would you mind taking a few questions, Corey? Of course, I'd love to. Hey, Yang, could you... Could you be a doll and fetch me a bottle of water? I got your bottle right here. Okay, who are we fighting? Challenge are you fighting seven. Corey? Because I thought we were going to fight Get Rachel. For my opening statement. Round one. Uh, fight. And, okay, ready. First hit. I like getting the first hit. So, um... I'm pretty sure this game is, is uh, way easier for me, but... Probably also way more interested in it just because it's Andrew Yang. I am not doing as well no guts, no Corey. as I would like. Freedom. Oh, wait, what happened? Okay, good, I got my special move. I don't know what that's meant to be. It's green to represent money. No guts, no Corey. I still don't get the bar at the bottom. Uh, I had let go of the buttons on the controller and then I jumped. So, I don't know. Alright, well that was good. I was watching the bar at the bottom instead of the top, so I forgot to watch. There was a, um, a thing, I think it was after one of the debates and they were doing all the post-debate coverage, like, backstage and Andrew's being interviewed and Corey walked up and said hi and then he ends up getting the attention and a bunch of people in the Yang Gang were not happy with him. Eh, I don't I mean I don't think he was really doing anything on purpose. They say it's a lot of confusion and chaos back there, so I don't really care. I like Corey well enough. I was really getting worried there. I stopped talking because I was really getting worried about my uh, health bar compared to his. Okay. Um, and I would like to understand 
Oh, good, I got it. Okay. I like to understand the bars at the bottom. Damn, Yang, I'm really sorry. I didn't know what came. I don't know what came over me. I understand, Corey. We're all fighting for the spotlight. It's all just part of the game, right? So, like, whatever. It's cool. That's uh, a thing that he says. So, we can still be friends? Can we still be friends? Of course. You're the man, Yang. Let me give you a big hug. Ah, uh, next time, bro. I still need to finish this interview. Oh yeah, my bad. Let me get out of your hair. Thanks, Corey. Well, that was all very surreal. But with Corey gone, let's get back to your policies. What exactly is democracy dollars? Oh, so right now our entire political system is ruled by the almighty dollar, but if we... Oh, hold on, Mr. Wang. I'm sorry to cut you off. But we're going to go live now to the Lincoln Memorial to hear from Senator Bernie Sanders. What? <laughs> um... Okay, MSNBS stage is now unlocked. August 2019, during a live interview with Andrew Yang, MSNBS shamefully cut away from Yang to a campaign rally held by Bernie Sanders. Okay, so that's what we just heard. Bernie, people often ask me, what makes you qualified to be our president? Well, for one, I have the most experience. I mean, I've been in politics longer than most people have been alive. <laughs> yes, I may be old, but my energy is through the roof. I feel the burn from the moment I wake up at the, from the moment I wake up in, to till I go to sleep at seven thirty. I feel the burn whenever I talk to you good people. Heck, I even feel the burn whenever I use the bathroom. Hold it right there, old man. Andrew Yang, they told me you were being interviewed by MSNBS. How did you get here so fast? My good friend Elon let me use his hyperloop. Damn you and your blasted technology. Burn, you know, I think you're great. You're a national treasure, but we need to settle this once and for all. Your plan for guaranteed jobs program isn't going to work. Oh yeah? And what would you know about it? I know that most Americans don't want to work for the federal government. Pfft. <laughs> and I know that even if people did want to work f to work a federal job, you can't guarantee a job for every single American. We have to face reality. Automation is coming and we can't turn the clocks back. We need 21st century solutions to these 21st century problems. What makes you think you can just come to my rally and take over? You think I'm just going to allow you to hijack my event because you're a minority? You think I would just hand you the mic and sit this one out? If that's what you think, then you have underestimated me. Um, I actually don't have a problem with that policy. I don't really care. Though, um, pretty sure Andrew would never call him old man in real life. Hey, I'm doing good. Democracy dollars. Did they make Bernie an easier character because he's old? Because can you feel it? I'm pretty sure I was having more trouble. Is it, um? I'm pretty sure it was Cory Booker I was having more trouble with. But that doesn't make sense. This should be... Look, he's barely even got me. They had to have made him weaker. I can't be doing so much better. Okay, what if I use this hand? Okay, see, that might be a little bit better for... Pretty sure you can use keyboard and stuff. Just so if I figure out how to use the controller, then I'll prefer to use that. Ooh. Did he run up and like headbutt me or try to tackle me or something? Okay, so we switch back over here. Make it hit hit hit. Oops. Oh, he's using his special. Okay. Oh, wow, I get to use mine. Didn't really have as much to say. I actually had tons of stuff to say, I just don't remember most of it. 
Oops. Pretty sure if you win this game, you become president, not in real life, just in. I mean, obviously not in real life. I just didn't want that to seem like it was a joke, and it wasn't a joke. Did I get him? Nope. Yeah, they had me. Because if they're gonna make certain characters more tough, first it would. Okay, it's over, Bernie. I have the high ground. Look, Yang, we may not agree on everything, but I have to respect you. You've got a lot of great ideas. And besides, you're the only other candidate I've met who can keep up with my stamina. Thanks, Bernie. You know I never doubted your stamina for a second. Let me ask you, when we were fighting just now, did you feel it? Huh? My burn. Tell me you felt it. Oh, uh, I'm not really sure what... Damn it, Yang, I saw it in your eyes. I know you felt my burn. Uh-oh. Yeah, your burn. Yeah, of course. I uh, totally felt your burn. Haha, <laughs> I knew it. I still got it. <laughs> Pretty Sanders available. Sanders, Yang rallies unlocked. Yang rally stages unlocked. Oh, cool. September 2019. The Democratic candidates are preparing for a live debate. Many of the candidates have qualified, but one has inexplicably gone missing. Breaking news. Elizabeth Warren has gone completely AWOL. No one seems to know where she could have gone, and all of this just days before she is set to join the other Democrats in a nationally televised debate. If you know anything about her whereabouts, please contact her campaign immediately. Hmm, this isn't good. If I'm going to become president, I need to beat the other candidates fair and square. I'll need to find her. Well, where could she be? Oh, is that Zach? Wait a minute, I remember her saying something a long time ago. I think I know where she is. I mean, it's a long shot, but hey, I'm the long shot candidate, right? You sure are, boss. We gotta move fast to the Yang copter. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. Elizabeth? Who goes there? Oh, Andrew, what the heck are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? Everyone's been looking for you. You're about to miss the upcoming debate. Oh, I get it. You have been sent to me by the spirits. You're a manifestation of all my deepest fears and insecurities. You have been sent here to test me, right? No, no, I'm not a vision, I'm real. What have you been doing out here, Warren? The wolf music is sweet to the ears of all who know the words. Huh? Challenge accepted. Hey, I was just about to have a drink. Do you want one? So we're fighting her to convince her to go to the debate? <laughs> Okay. Dude, I got the first hit. I really like that. I didn't see that in any of the SNK games that I was playing. I have. Okay, I guess we've hit each other a bit. Dude. I am doing really bad. I am starting to get worse and worse as I move on. And that does not sound good for um, me being able to win this. But hey, Andrew didn't become president, so kind of makes sense, right? This is your final oh, warning. okay. That's her special power. I have to figure out to use mine. Wait a second. Two hit combo. Counter. So, if I do this button, see, I thought that, oh, see, there's something if I do YB, but maybe it's like XYB? Oh, did I knock her out? Oh, okay, cool, we got to round two. So, try this. No? Okay, it's not XYB. Is it like this? No. I like some of the things, like the flip. <laughs> oh, wait, can I just do that? It must be. I don't know how. I'll have to work on that. It's starting to get warm in here. <sighs> okay. 
Can we end this? Because I want to move a bit. Oops. Forgot. Okay. I was trying to do two things at once. Doesn't work well. Oh, dude. Okay. If I could figure out how to use that combo thing, then I would do way more of it. So, why does the computer player not use its, um, fancy, like, I don't know, laser ball thing? Like that. Why does the computer player not do that all the time? And no, I have no idea what I did to make that happen. <gasps> Are you serious? I lost? Oh, that's not good. Okay, how to focus. Okay, focus. Okay, she's, she's standing. She jumps. See, she keeps moving away from me. You have to wait for them to come to you. You don't go up to them, because that's where they get me. Wait for them to come to me. And just sit in there and wait and then be ready. Counter. Okay, so that's what I was about to do something and she stopped me. So that was counter. So I wonder in the other game where it said counter and it set up percent. I'm so close to finishing. When it said counter and it set up percent. Um if they only countered part of it, like they only blocked part of whatever I was going to do. Oops, I thought we were done. I was looking at her health bar and I not not at wherever it would say knockout. Hey, I stopped being able to move. Uh, this isn't good. Why can't I do anything? Uh-oh. Hang on. Oh, uh, has a resume. This isn't good. Yeah, I can't. I broke it. I broke the game. And she is really, really bad at this. Because in most of the SNK games, they would have got me by now. I can't punch. How did I win? Hey, are you okay? Oh, Andrew, what happened? Where am I? Is the election over? Did I win? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lizzie, you know what? I think you're gonna be just fine. Um, Roran's reservation stage is now unlocked. October 2019. It's finally time for the Democratic debate. Moderator. Pretty sure that's supposed to be George Stephanopoulos, but that's just a guess. Uh, XYZ News. Okay. Uh, welcome everyone to the 2020 Democratic Presidential Debates hosted by XYZ News. In lowercase too. Um, in the lead up to this debate, the candidates have been fighting hard on the trail. Some of them unfortunately fought a little too hard and are unable to participate in tonight's debate. It seems... The only candidates remaining are businessman Andrew Yang, Mayor Pete Buttigieg, and frontrunner Joe Biden. Vice President Biden being the frontrunner, we'd like to give you as much time as possible. So we'll start with you, Joe. <laughs> uh, Joe? I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, it appears Joe Biden has fallen asleep. Okay, well, let's now, let's go now to Mr. Yang. What would you do to improve the economy? Well, we currently measure economic success by GDP. However, GDP has been going up and up, yet at the same time, suicide rates, drug overdoses, all of these things have also increased. So we need to lessen our focus on GDP and focus more on the things which actually improve our lives. This is why I will be introducing the American Scorecard. By changing how we measure success, we will, we will have a clear blueprint for a new path forward. Mayor Pete? You've been somewhat vague on this issue, so in detail, what would you do to improve the economy? Well, I just think that right now we focus on the wrong things, like the Dow Jones keeps going up. Yet life expectancy has gone down. I mean, it shouldn't even be possible. So as president, I would not rely on GDP as a way of measuring success. I would instead measure success based on how much money each American has in their hands. Wait, that's what I just said. 
Uh, no, that's what I just said. Huh? Mr. Yang, you've talked a lot about automation, and your solution is simply to give people free money. We are in the midst of what experts are calling the Fourth Industrial Revolution. When's the last time you heard a politician say the words Fourth, fourth Industrial Revolution? Mayor P, you'll have to wait your turn. Listen, we have to stop interrupting each other. Go ahead, Mr. Yang. Well, um, we are the owners and shareholders of the richest country in the world, and there's nothing preventing us from paying ourselves a dividend. In Alaska, they pay their citizens a dividend. They call it the oil check, and they love it. Well, we're going to call this the tech check, and all of America is going to love it. A freedom dividend would also recognize the work of stay-at-home moms and caregivers. That's some of the most important work which right now our markets value at zero. Mayor Pete, do you have a rebuttal? Well, let me start by saying that it's original, I'll give you that. But perhaps a better solution would be some sort of universal basic income. But that's what... Please, Mr. Yang, I didn't interrupt you. Look, I may be going out on a limb here, but I just feel a universal basic income would raise the income floor. And perhaps we need to rethink our definitions of work. Like, if you're a caregiver or a stay-at-home mom, isn't that work, and shouldn't we respect that? I don't understand what's happening here. You're just repeating everything I'm saying. I'm pretty sure you're just repeating everything I'm saying. Stop it. <laughs> you stop it. Um, Challenge accepted. Yes, some of the Yang gang stop would copying. refer to him as repeat. Okay. Oh, dude, he got the first hit. I like getting in the first hit. I thought I was, like, pushing all these buttons, but he got the first hit. I'm glad I can, uh, punch again. I'm wondering if it, like, it wasn't showing that I was hitting, but I actually was because I ended up winning. So I think I must have been able to do damage, even though I couldn't see that I could do damage. So that's good to know. Oops. Well, he, he ducked down. He was ducked down for- Oh, my mind was completely somewhere else. So, that's why I wasn't talking, because I forgot I was playing and or recording. But he was ducked down, and like, they keep doing that, and I have trouble hitting them. Ooh, knockout! Round two. Oh, we forgot a round two. Oh, wow. Oh. I wonder if the RB button has something to do with it. Um, I'm having a tough time against him. Okay, yep, got confused about which character I am. Oh, look, he sends out stars. There is like a bit of a delay or something when I push the buttons. It's not like, um, everything's just immediate. Not like much of a delay, just a bit. I think that's how come when the computer player does the, the special thing, the laser ball thing, I can sometimes get behind them. Because they did that, but there was enough of a delay that my character was moving around and just happened to move behind them. Uh, oh, look, I got to do mine. I wonder if that's going to take him out. Did not. I didn't even see him get hurt. Does that thing not hurt? Or did his health bar already go down before I saw it? Wait. Okay, good. Yay! It's no wonder you won. You literally copied all of my moves. Verbatim. I don't even know what to say to that. No. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> January 2020. And then there were two.
Welcome everyone, I'm Stephen Colbert, and what a show we have for you tonight. We have a very special guest, Democratic presidential frontrunner Joe Biden. But first, I'd like to welcome entrepreneur and businessman Andrew Yang. Hey Stephen, it's a pleasure to be here. Now, you're also running for president, right? That's right, As and as a matter of fact, I've beaten all the other candidates, so it's really just down to me and Joe. Sure, sure, but I have to ask. You have this bold policy proposal, which has sparked a lot of debate. And if nothing else, I feel you have shifted the national conversation. Well, thank you, Stephen. I appreciate you saying that. Well, before you thank me, I gotta say, I think a lot of people, myself included, have concerns. I mean, we have to really think about what this would mean for, for society, and is this really moral? And even you, even if you somehow win the pre presidency, like, do you really expect this to get passed through Congress? Oh, well, getting it passed is actually the easiest part, because when I win, everyone's going to know exactly why I won, and I'm going to be like, all right, guys, it's freedom dividend time. Freedom dividend? Oh, no, I don't mean that. I'm talking about your proposal to ban the, you know, the old Jewish tradition. Huh? Oh, no, no, that isn't one of my proposals at all. It isn't? No. All I said was I think parents should become more educated on this subject before making a decision. But I have no policies about that whatsoever. Oh, okay, well, let's see. I have a list here of all your s supposed policies. Do you mind if we go through some of these? Of course not. You want to abolish the penny. You got some weird personal grudge against pennies? Well, look at, look, it costs more than a penny to make a penny, right? And it's also bad for the environment, and... Okay, okay, you want to... You want free marriage counseling. Is that just for you and your wife? Haha, <laughs> no, it would be for everyone. The data shows that children have a better outcomes when... All right, Mr. Yang. Well, we could go through all of your policies, but you've got like a hundred of them. Well, how about we use this time to talk about some more of the more important ones? I think in the interest of time, we better wrap this up. But stick around, folks, because right now, it's time for Mr. Vice President Joe Biden. How are you? Hey, how are you? Joe Biden, everybody. Can I call you Joe? It's so great to have you here tonight. I can't thank you enough for taking time of your busy schedule to come here and pay us all a visit. Well, thank you, Sean. You know, I just gotta say, I'm not really sure where I am exactly, but I like what you're doing here. Haha, <laughs> classic Joe. Well, listen, I gotta ask you a few questions. Let's start with a real pressing issue in today's economy. That is automation. Huh? Is automation something we should be concerned about? Well, you know, my father used to say to me, Hey, Joey, we gotta tell people about that fourth industrial revolution. I mean, remember back when I was in school, there'd be two, three, four, or, uh, three, four, five, uh, excuse me, six. Six of us all working, getting our hands dirty, busting our necks. Wow. And I used to tell people, look, we're working hard. You gotta put the effort in. If we should all deserve respect, I mean, poor people should be shown just as much respect as white people. What's that now? And that's number one. Here's number two. You ask about automation. I know a lot of truck drivers. Really? And they tell me, they say, my job's going to be automated. I just know it. Fascinating. So what's the solution? Well, I was just getting to that. That was number three. But here's number one. We got to retrain these people. We got to teach them how to transition. There's lots of jobs opening up now with the software and the hardware and everywhere in between. You can't be serious. Come on, Mr. Yang, you had your turn to talk. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, but I can't let this go on. Government retraining programs have a success rate of 0 to 15 percent. And if you actually spoke to those truck drivers about job retraining, you'd know that they're far more likely to punch you in the face than sign up. You want to punch me in the what now? What? <laughs> Challenge accepted. I ought to pop okay. you right in the lip. Round one. Fight. See, I think that was a thing where, um, his eye was red for a while, but at this point, the only one I can remember was, I think it was during the vice presidential debate, and, um, Mike Pence's eye was red. People were saying they wonder if he had COVID. I think I got confused between the characters again. Look, I got a three-hit combo. I kept getting farther away from the other characters. 
I'm doing pretty good. I looked at the health bars to see if maybe they have made it easier on me like they did with Bernie Sanders. And I can't really tell because I haven't really been watching that closely. But I am, uh, winning. Oops. Oh, did you see that? What was that? I would like to see that from more of a distance. Two hit combo. Counter, two hit combo. This is tough. Oh dude, we're about to die. Hey, I was doing so good and I didn't even like... Oh dude, punch, 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 kick, kick, kick. Did I win? Dude, how come I haven't won yet? He's gonna get me. Get him. Oh dude, we... That was so close. Okay, do it again. I've been um, sitting weird. Well, I've been a lot of reasons. So part of my neck is is uh, messed up now, just for temporary, just till I fix it. But sitting here playing this is not 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 playing this, but just sitting here. That's not helping. But um, I don't know. It's somewhat comfortable if I just keep my head to the other side. Dude, I wanted to be farther away. It's like, dude, he hit me. It's like he's blowing air or something. And I wanted to see that from a distance, but this time he didn't even actually get me. Like, no nothing happened. I thought last time it was like air pushed me away. So maybe I got hurt with that. Still don't know what buttons I used to do that. Democracy dollars. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Joe, are you okay? You got a heck of a right arm, kid. Joe, we agree on so much, but your solutions aren't the answer. You know what? You're right. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. The only reason I'm running is to try and get out of the... Get that guy out of the White House. Hey, don't beat yourself up. You're one of the only candidates talking about the Fourth Industrial Revolution. The what? Listen, kid, you got the better of me today, so I'll make you a deal. If I win the nomination, I want you as my VP. Holy cow, Jill Biden is Yang Gang? Um, no. Okay, available late, late show stages unlocked. November 2020, 46th President of the United States. Well, folks, the results are in, and it's official. MSNBS can now confirm Andrew Yang will be the 46th president of the United States. His victory is a statistical landslide. The longer-than-long-shot candidate has done it. Woohoo, we did it. The Yang gang is back at it like a crack addict. Holy cow, he actually did it. Wait, does that mean I have to stop eating meat? No. Congratulations, Yang. I always knew you could do it. Hold the phone, you're telling me he wants to give everyone a thousand dollars a month? Why didn't I think of that? I'm not surprised Americans have elected a minority candidate. I just thought it would have been me. I can't believe Andrew Yang is our president. It was my idea to be president. Well, I'll be damned. I guess people really do hate my the hate the penny after all. This is great stuff, Andrew. Yeah. Andrew said if he won I could be his VP. Hold on, folks. We just got some breaking news. We've just received word that Donald Trump is refusing to leave the White House. According to our Washington insider, Trump is claiming that the election was rigged. And he is demanding to see if Andrew Yang's birth certificate. Uh, Mr. President, we got a problem. That's not what I think, is it? I'm afraid it's just what, as you predicted, he's refusing to leave. Oh, uh, alright. Leave this to me. Go get him, Tiger. Tiger. Sorry, it felt like a tiger moment. Trump. Yay. Challenge right. accepted. So I think this Video is the final one. That makes violence. sense, right? Because and once so you beat I. Donald Trump, you wouldn't really have anybody Round else to beat. Okay. And I'm thinking, because I don't have the audio turned on to where I can hear it, but I'm thinking when I do my special move, it's been saying Freedom Dividend in the background. If I remember right. China. So, 
when I fought Elizabeth Warren, there was like this green thing that would shoot out at me. She would shoot some green thing at me. But then the one time, it looked like I shot some green thing at her. This is actually winnable. I've never won this. I've never played Donald Trump before. I've never fought Donald Trump before. Anyway, um, Billy Dyke, Donald shot a thing that was r red and black at me, which looked a lot cooler, but I assume it's the same sort of thing, but I don't know what it is. And yeah, I got confused about which character I was. I'm really not good at following my character when there's multiple characters on the screen. I had a lot of problem with that in Secret of Mana. Oh, dang, I'm, I'm not doing so well. Hit, hit, hit. Um, so Secret of Mana is a super nice game, and you end up with this, like, team, because you start with the one character and you pick up more people as you go, so as you're walking through the forest, what? Did I win? Oh dude, okay, I got a red dot, so I just have to beat him once or run out of time. Run out of time with me in the lead. And I am not in the lead. This is not going well. This is not at all going well. Two hit combo. No collusion. Uh Okay. It does look kinda cool, but not good. Not good at all. I got a little bit Okay, okay, we're starting to we're starting to do better. This has been tough, but it's actually winnable from me, which is not easy. And I don't know how long it's been. I would say this point like 45 minutes so maybe the full video will be like an hour oops we're, we're very close time runs out soon we got him oh look we did shoot a green thing at him don't know how to do that I got the laser ball easier than the like laser thing did I okay oh, we won we won now what happens? Okay, you win. I give up. Your reign is over. Please, just don't hit me anymore. I'll do whatever you say. Well, we could start by admitting the election was rigged. Which one? Huh? Oh, you're talking about this one. Right, yeah, this election totally wasn't rigged. You won fair and square. In fact, this election was the most fair election I've ever seen. The selection was so fair that all the other elections are jealous of how fair this election Okay, that's enough. It was a spectacularly fair election. Enough. Yes, sir, Mr. President. I think it's time for you to leave. Of course, Mr. President. Just let me clean out my desk. Clean out your... How long will this take? Done. Oh, what the heck is that? It's an orange. Oh, okay. Like, I like orange. Right, well, on behalf of America, you're fired. Thank you for your service and good luck in your future endeavors. Uh, White House is unlocked as well. Yay! I win. Is that the end? Are we gonna... Okay, so we're gonna do credits. Maybe I'll speed these up a bit in editing. He was making this game, and he was working on getting it released, but I think it was not getting much attention, and it was like, I mean, just a project he wanted to do but he was losing uh motivation because it wasn't getting a lot of interest and then a bunch of people said that they would help is that done okay uh have fun and play games